They pass the eye test. They do pass the eye test. They are for real. And what a treat it's going to be to see this offense today. And the Cougars will bring it out across the 25-yard line in passer rating. And on first down, he goes out of the backfield to Gunnar Romney, who's got three straight 100-yard games and a first down on platform and with different arm angles. 24 out of 26 last week. Two for two today. Dax Milne deep into UTSA. How Zach Wilson's playing. Back to the air. Wilson has Neil Pau. He lost the football. It's on the ground. And did he recover or does UTSA have it? A lot of white shirts in that pile with Pau. The Roadrunners, nine takeaways already in four games. That is good for third nationally. And the Roadrunners take it away early. Well, if you want to get this BYU offense off schedule, take the ball away from them. What a tremendous a play. By BYU, recovered by UTSA. First down. Corey Mayfield right here, the big corner, comes and just does a nice job of attacking the ball with starting lineup at quarterback after missing last week's game. Sprained his knee a few weeks ago against Middle Tennessee. And you're watching Sincere McCormick, the nation's vaunted BYU defensive front. Here's Frank Harris, the southpaw, throwing downfield, tight window, and he's got Middle Tennessee, but back in the lineup after missing just one game. Harris rolling to his left. And that's intercepted by Troy Warner. He threw it up in the air in no man's land, and Warner with an interception now and back to... We apologize for some technical difficulties on the last play. It was a Frank Harris interception. Tom Luganbill, what is he thinking? <laughs> I do not know what he's thinking. The read should be the clear out down the sideline, down to the flat route with the fullback, and then the tight play now for BYU. Wilson gets rid of it quickly, and he's got Isaac Rex, his big tight end. Four for four on the season. Still only 11 incompletions all year. And that's Carter Wheat, another tight end, a big number 96, rumbling for a big game. Yards, which you get on a punt from this end of the field. No question. Wilson backpedaling, chased, throws on the run, downfield, incomplete. That was Corey Mayfield, the junior, again on the coverage. For his legs on every snap. There is McCormick. You got to account for him, the nation's leading rusher. Harris down the seam and completes. BYU bringing pressure. It's Kafusi. Harris, tough throw. I'm snapping this ball immediately. I don't know, Tom. It looked like he left the ground to make that catch. He, after review, it's an incomplete pass. It's Hunter to hold. He is immune to broadcaster Jink. Zach Wilson steps up, shovels it ahead. <laughs> you said it earlier, I not me. You. That's Mason Way. This season, he had sh shown signs of brilliance the past few years, but this year, the first time he really feels healthy and comfortable in this offense. Back in the lineup at QB. This is Algier. That was dangerous. And he's a dangerous downhill runner. It always seems. Show for it. Take him when you can get him. Wilson flushed. Floats it back in the end zone. Pau, did he stay in bounds? No signal yet. They will confer. I'm sure they'll take a look at this regardless of outcome. <laughs> they already are. And it is a touchdown for Neil Pau. And they will likely look at this upstairs. Goes up, gets it at its highest point. Foot down from that angle. And now Justin Smith on for the PAT. It's true. 
So the freshman Cowboys, it's best bet for the college football playoff, which was likely true before that game started. How about Algier? Now, we were talking a moment ago, spent a lot of time in the SEC. He's the defensive coordinator for the Roadrunners. Wide open, Milne <laughs> and is... Wilson pumps. <laughs> there is Katoa into the end zone with ease. I'll let you say it because you said it earlier. Did you see how he got the ball out? It's just this subtle little nuance. Watch it. It might not always be pretty, but look how he had to get it out. See his elbow? The, the only way he makes the throw. He can't throw that is as the extra point goes through for BYU. Is Hey everybody, I'm Wheels. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss a video. All right, enjoy the second half highlights. Four man pressure this time. Narcy standing in and fires a strike to Leroy. Those are two starters, but they've missed some time and haven't been in the lineup that long. Narcy to the sideline. He's got Zakari Frank. Passing game of UTSA. Sheldon Jones in motion. Narcy to the air. Slings it downfield, and he's got Watson. That ah, doesn't matter. <laughs> he doesn't care. Three for three, but he only gets three points. UTSA makes it. Cougars need the 20. Wilson gets rid of it quickly, and there is Dax Milne. You brought up the Wilson at Corner Canyon, which is now the preeminent power in the state of Utah. It used to be Bingham. Downfield. Gunnar Romney makes the catch, and if he got away across the field, he could have even done a little bit more. Gave him a chance. Wilson, who has five. Powu lined up in the slot. There's the quarterback run, and Wilson with his sixth rushing touchdown of the season. You called it, Anish. This is the Going area they love touchdown. the quarterback run. Look how quick Zach Wilson is off of the token fake in there, and he's just eating. BYU marches 90 yards. Well, there's going to be other times where you're going to want to spill things to the outside, but BYU's just been so technically sound with their defense. Now bringing pressure, Whoa. and what a throw. Free play. And Franklin snatches it out of the air for a TD. Anish, that is twice that we have Outside, seen. Number 58, defense, that penalty is declined, touchdown. It's twice we have seen the hard count with no crowd in the stadium cost BYU. Now, both times, Lowell Narcisse took a shot down the sideline, didn't connect on the first one at the latter part of the third quarter, and look at the big guy right here. Kari Franklin just goes up and elevates in a 50-50 ball Double coverage on a free play. Yes or not, right? Second and eight after a two-yard gain. Wilson. And that's Dax Milne, who's, again, really good football team. There's pressure. Wilson off his back foot. Wants Milne. Who else? From 55. Wilson tosses to Algier. Full head of steam. Here he comes. And Tyler Algier all the way down to the 12. With 8.29 on the clock, they've used up more than six minutes. Algier into the end zone, a little punctuation. Now that's how you finish off the game. Eat up more than six minutes of clock and just take the air out of your opponent. And the old offensive lineman, the old, old line coach, Jeff Grimes, the offensive coordinator. Team 2-1-0, and zero, the San Antonio area code. Oh, Justin Smith again. We and the time it took for TCU in the Big 12, it wasn't easy those first few years. Narcisse with a good throw to Franklin. Had some scheduling issues. You could always book a Pac-12 team, which would beef up the schedule. Another nice throw by Narcisse. Getting away from Batty. Narcisse. And it's caught in the end zone by Dingle for a touchdown. Hang on. UTSA not going away. They're an onside kick recovery from having a chance here. Well, I think they found themselves a quarterback. He certainly gave them a spark, made a lot of big throws, made a couple of necessary runs to, to convert third down and 
just such a big guy to bring down. He makes his throw, crosses his body on the move, and BYU just... Bouncing ball, it's loose! The Cougars say they have it. Now the kick worked out to perfection. Were the road runners able to recover it? You got the bounce you wanted. 